So, do you believe in ghosts? I'm not sure myself, you know, but supposing they did exist, what would a ghost look like? And can you imagine what it would actually be like to have a conversation with one? Well, it's a mystery what ghoulish goings-on happened to this family. Picture the scene. Simon Eastwell woke up buzzing with excitement. Today is a special day. It's his birthday. Morning, everybody. Simon, happy birthday. Hello, son. Look at all your presents. And you've got loads more posts. And this really big present is your very extra special birthday present from us. Can I open it now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Slowly, he lifted the lid. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you'll call her? I quite like the name Sue. Are you sure? She looks like a Sue. <laughs> well, if you really think so. Sam? Sam? Suddenly, there was a commotion coming from the corner of the room. They were stunned. The voice came from the family's pet parrot, Jojo, who had never been known to utter a word in her life. Hmm. Interesting. A silent parrot starts chattering ten to the dozen. <laughs> so, OK, what's going on? Had it been going to secret squawk lessons? <laughs> Had it simply lost its voice up until now? Or could it be something to do with the arrival of the new dog? What do you reckon? Well, the story takes on a rather bizarre twist. Jojo and Sue became firm friends. Sue always stayed close to the perch so that Jojo could keep an eye on her. But one day, a very peculiar thing happened. Is it time? <laughs> I should jolly well hope so. Mrs Eastwell had gradually got used to Jojo's chattering, but nothing had prepared her for what was about to happen. What's the matter, Sue? To Kath's amazement, the dog seemed to respond. What's that? They seemed to be talking. The next evening, Simon returned home from football practice to find that his mum was in a terrible state. Simon, I've got some really bad news for you. What's the matter? Just, just come and sit down. What is it? Sue, she's been very poorly. Is she OK? Well, this morning she wouldn't eat her breakfast. She, she just came and sat on the sofa and went to sleep. What's happened? I'm afraid she's died. Everyone was sad that Sue was no longer with them, but no one was as sad as Jojo. Without her newfound friend, she wouldn't eat, and she stopped talking altogether. Fine. Later that week, the family were playing a board game to cheer themselves up. Suddenly, Jojo perked up on his perch, looking directly at something in the middle of the room. Hello, Sue. Hello, Sue. They all stared in amazement. But, out of the corner of her eye, Mrs Eastwell thought she could see a transparent, ghostly outline. As it became clearer, she was sure it was taking on the shape of a dog. So you're a superstar. Sue? At that moment, the ghostly shape disappeared. So, OK, what's going on? Different species talking to each other? Ghostly animals? Well, we spoke to Janice Hoadley from Cage and Avery Birds magazine and she said parrots have very good hearing and would be able to detect the sounds and movement of another animal that we humans couldn't even hear and may begin to talk in response. However, sometimes parrots form attachments with other pets, so the arrival of Sue may have inspired Jojo to speak. So what about the ghostly appearance of the dog, then? Well, scientists are looking into the possibility that many ghostly sightings could be caused by tiny electrical vibrations in the air, which could affect some people's vision by making the water in their eyeballs vibrate. In this case, only Mrs Eastwell was affected, and the ghostly dog shape that she thought she saw could have been nothing more than a blurred vibration. And it may have been pure coincidence that Jojo was calling Sue's name at the same moment simply because she was missing her. Or maybe it was something else. <sighs> could be. What do you think? Well, the truth is, there is no definite explanation. Nope. Mystery remains unsolved. <laughs> So, there you have it. We've taken a look 
at some seriously strange stuff. And you know what? There's a lot more lurking out there just waiting to be revealed. But till then, here's one last one to keep you going. A professional footballer challenged me that he could kick a ball a certain distance, have it stop, and then come back to him without anyone else touching it. He won the challenge. How? <laughs> Think about it. See ya.